Here's my story of limitation. I grew up with a dad who was extremely successful. I just retired. What will I do with the rest of my life? I'm sad. Believing that I am not enough. I deal with the loss of someone that I feel like I've loved for a lifetime. I got married at 17, lost all my friends. I had my first I am limited by the age of 20. I am just I had a amazing story. story. So, that's my story. Thanks. Hello, this is Phil. So, I am posting my phone number online and I'm asking people to call me and or email me and share a story about a limitation in their life. I am trying to embrace the limitation by getting rid of my wigs and shaving my head. But that's scary. You said we married too soon you said that you made a mistake Then you said you were just sad You didn't mean it, it's not that bad But I wrote you words on my face And I wrote you words on my chest Waiting for you to take off my dress it's distracting and I that you felt out inspired and cold So I wrote your words on the floor You followed them So um, my story is that when I was 10 years old, I was diagnosed with an impulse control disorder called trichotillomania. So I just wanted to share a couple of the stories that have been coming in. I struggle with learning to trust that people can truly love me. I'm afraid that I will hurt. Oh. Hello, this is Phil. I struggle with learning to trust that people can truly love me. I'm afraid that I will hurt, disgust, or anger those who are closest to me. My current struggle is one of overcoming self-harm. My dad was a drinker, and I didn't have a happy childhood. Sometimes I hate everything, and then I'm happy or sad for no reason, and sometimes I feel nothing at all. So I'm getting stories from people in all different stages of their limitations. And one thing that's consistent is the people that are in the beginning of it or in the midst of it, often, they often feel alone. But then when I talk with people that have overcome the situation, they always talk about connecting with others and how it helped them get perspective and break through. It all comes down to the fact that we're all wired for connection. We're built to interact with others, to exchange information, to connect. And, okay, well I will shoot you a text when I'm gonna write it into the picture, okay? Yeah, no, no, th th thank you, thank you. Okay, take care. Bye. She was asking for advice, which I think kind of gets to one of the big things that I'm fighting with here is what's, what's my role as the artist? Am I just supposed to listen? Am I, do, do, do I give advice? Do I try to walk through and help people figure out what's going on? Uh, I mean, these are huge stories. These are big parts of people's lives. I have no idea. 
I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can get tattoos, I can get piercings, I can change my my clothes style, but I mean, shaving your head is pretty big, especially for a girl, where the expectation is that you have hair and that your hair is beautiful and that your hair is thick and luscious and lovely. Um, man, I can't tell you how many times I have been so tormented by that that expectation. If I can learn to forgive myself, for something that I can't control, I need to stop hiding. I'm just going to do it then. I'm just going to say, hey, could you shave my head now? Because after graduation, I'm just going to discard of this. Um, I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll, um, I'll text you or something. <laughs> So someone just posted on Facebook that I actually teared up a bit as I watched you write my limitation into the piece, knowing that so many people are going to see this work and only see my limitation as part of a greater picture, take some of the power away from it. This is exactly why I like to do this kind of work, because when you're far away from the picture, you see all the stories, all these fragments come together as a greater whole. And then when you get close to it, the picture disappears and you're able to read the stories and experience someone's life. This piece is based on a photo that I took years ago, shortly after quitting art school because of a, a tremor that developed in my hand. And this photo, to me, represents this ambiguous time in my life when I didn't know where I was going, what I was doing, and I was just filling the void with work and school. So that I am my own dream Screaming at myself that I must remember something Love comes out of nowhere It makes you forget your despair sparks me, one harms me, and I take care of bread and butter, battles, negotiate snakes and rattles, but he tickled my toes with the sagebrush, made me feel out of the air, I gotta say I'm surprised at the April night, it sends me a cry. My state of mind was like realizing for the first time what my reality was. I, I was pulling off a mask and I wasn't sure if I liked what I saw underneath it because I was wearing the mask for everyone else but I didn't realize that I had been wearing it myself as well. It is a loss of identity <laughs> in a strange way. It's, it feels so shallow when I say it because it's just, it's just hair. I realized it's, it's not my place to conclude, but to listen, to witness and ask questions, to hear people's stories and translate them onto the canvas. Um, one of the biggest components that hearing so many stories has revealed is about self-identity and how 
we often hide our true authentic selves from our friends, our family, and sometimes even ourselves. It's this, this hardwired desire to connect with others and be part of something beyond ourselves that sometimes we lose ourselves in the process. Hmm. And it's, it's, this, it's moving past this conformity and finding value in our uniqueness that is a powerful experience. I don't have anything to hide behind and it means not only hiding from other people or not no more hiding from other people but I, I can't hide from myself anymore. Yeah. It felt very bizarre. Facing limitations is, is really a fundamental human experience. And what came out of this project is that we all share similar struggles in faith, sexuality, health, abuse, relationships, self-image, and family. After taking a deeper look at the limitations, the intersections, the common threads, there is beauty that emerges out of the turmoil. And I, I have a couple of stories here as well I'd like to read. I was diagnosed with lupus at 19. By the time I graduated college, I could barely walk. It took baby steps to become well again. And now, I can walk a mile without stopping. I'm done hugging the floor on all fours. My life fell apart when my father hung himself and my mother walked out on me. I felt hopeless as I sat in our empty apartment. My boyfriend's family took me in, saw the potential in my art, and got me enrolled in college. I'm no longer afraid to ask for help. I'm 47 and have a bad self-image. I feel like I should come with a disclaimer. I'm insecure, unsure, jealous, and a mess until I can trust this and trust you. I now realize that I'm worthy of love, so please be patient, because I am worth it. Growing up, always having to contort my hair or hide, I thought that my wig was freedom. I thought that it was keeping me from being the freak. I thought it was keeping me from not having to live life in a bubble or hiding under a shell. And only now am I realizing that it was, it was my shell. It was the thing that was holding me back. I'm exhausted, happy, moved, and and wondering what to do with all of the emotion and information in my head. I'm leaving this project with more questions than I started, but I guess that's the sign of a good journey and the beginning of another. I just remember feeling so stifled by doors that were closed all around me. I couldn't go to sleepovers and have my hair braided. Didn't let my boyfriend ever touch my hair. No swimming, no roller coasters, not rolling the windows down. Something that I thought was giving me freedom was actually holding me back. And now that I've gotten rid of it, it's like all around me, doors have just flown open and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I can do whatever I want, and it feels so good. It feels so good. The Midwest is